when you started, uh, how was the city's relationship with the other municipalities? Uh, not necessarily like the PRD, but you know, Poos at the time. Uh, well, yeah. neighbors, everyone. Yeah. Fort St. John, how was it then? How is it now? Yeah, I think What's the that? I think the uh, relationship that's built certainly by us interacting with each other. First of all, Peace River Regional District, and mm -hmm. so. We're all together. Most of the mayors uh, sit at that as directors on the regional district. And then through different initiatives that you get involved in and you support each other in mm -hmm. different ways. And so to me, that has evolved um, over the last nine years for me and, and highs and lows in terms of building our relationships or having relationships fracture sometimes as a result of sitting there. I'm proud of the work we've done with the First Nations and Treaty 8. I was going to ask you, how was the, how was the city's yeah. relationship with First Nations? And, and, and that I first that year, it was there. really, to me, I had a, you know, I had obviously a relationship with Laurie and Merlin and Chetwin and Don and Tumble mm -hmm. Ridge and mm -hmm. et cetera, Lorraine and uh, Bill Plowright and Lorraine, et cetera, et cetera. But I had no relationship. I didn't really know any of the Treaty 8 communities, didn't know who the chiefs and councils were. And, so I really took it as an opportunity to say, look, we are, we're neighbors uh, and we need to have a relationship with each other. And, and uh, so way we've gone, and I think both individually as municipalities, uh, certainly we have the city, we signed an MOU with Soto yeah. a number of years ago. Um, and each of us have done that work with our Treaty 8 neighbors, but also at the regional district. And I think so I'm really proud of the work that we've done as well as that the regional district have done with respect to that. And, and again, not um, specifically about Poos, but the, the urban fringe of any city is, is, a, is always a key, well, it's a key, like you say, it's a key ingredient to anything. How's the urban fringe as far as Dawson Creek with the PRD, some shared services with Poos potentially? Yeah, one of the things Water. that, yeah, so one of the things that you get into as you're the, looked upon as a service center for uh, the region, and that goes for Chetwin, Tumblr, Poos, and our rural neighbors, is the dilemma that we as a city face is the one of who's delivering the services, building arenas, building pools, and then having regional users of those facilities um, and not, not feeling like we need to get a, an equitable uh, re, um, relationship built on how they're funded for operations as well as future uh, res, um, uh, replacement of them. And so it's really difficult, right? Because nobody wants, everybody Everybody's has difficulty in taxation yep. and yeah. having residents feeling like they don't want to pay. And so that's always, and it's been difficult. We've done a ton of work on that over the last four or five years. We, we got the analysis done on users of our services, where they came from, Area D, Area E, Poos, Chetwin, mm -hmm. County of Saddle Hills, sure. yeah. and did that analysis. And now we've just uh, redone that uh, agreement with the sub-regional through print out of the Peace River Regional District to try to, to evolve that. Certainly for us, water is an example with Poos. Poos get um, their supply of water from us. And we, have, we just renewed the agreement. And certainly I know there were some uh, concerns in the residents of Poos and out there about the increase in the water rates. But for us, a water utility is built and paid for by the users. Yeah, we user had, hadn't addressed that uh, rate for about five or six years and costs of everything increase. And so we had to um, so address yeah. that. And um, that's just part of the difficulty when you're the one providing services and people feeling like uh, it's not equitable in terms of what they're paying for. That's just part of what goes on for all of us in Fort, Fort St. John right now are looking at building the North, well, not Fort St. John, the Peaceful Regional District, the North Peace Leisure Pool. Sure. Yeah. And it's going to be expensive, and people want to have their input into how it's paid for and how it's operated. Right? Who uses the users? Yeah. Um, just funny, I got an email about, well, maybe a month ago, you know, 